Hey, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and uh, welcome to a snowy and wet New Year's Day. It's snowing hor horizontally today. Um, high winds, a lot of snow drift, and a lot of snow, which is a perfect day for a poda. At least a poda in my car. And... Um, I'm going to do this a little bit differently today. I'm going to use the USDX, the Chinese USDX, um, using Digimodes just to see if Digimodes work in a real world scenario. And what better real world scenario to try out digital communications than actually bad weather? This is one of the conditions where having emergency communications could be good. So, I'm going to do it with FT4 and FT8. And you might say that FT8, FT4 is not suitable for emergency communications. And you're completely right. But it's an effective way of to just see if your equipment is working with Digimodes. Because there will always be someone to, uh, to be there on the other end. And um, it's also a way of getting some QSOs for this park. It's actually a two for today. Lima Alpha 2532 and two for. 2532 and 2542. So, uh, with no further ado, let's take a look at today's equipment. And today's equipment is almost self contained in this little box, um, except for the laptop, which is the Microsoft Surface Go 2. So, let's see what we got in here. So, you've actually seen this kit before, but let's take a look inside here. We got um, USB C to USB A dongle here, just for the sound card. We got uh, a fuse, powerful fuse, made uh, by Steve KM9G. Microphone, sound card, one of the sound cable. My really bad botched special sound cable for the mic input. The radio, a battery, and some power cables. And that's it, that's all we need, in addition to the Surface Go, which I have beside here. So let's get everything hooked up and uh, see if we can get any QSOs on FD8. And we're up and running now and what's going to be interesting to see is how many calls we need in order to get the park activated on FD8. So that's going to be interesting to see and the radio is actually working as well. It's actually taken a while to get this QSOS on FD8. I've been running for 10 minutes now. Got uh, almost four in the log. Just logged uh, Jürgen, Oscar Echo 4, Juliet Hotel, Whiskey. So uh, some of the regular chasers are on here as well. Let's keep going. Okay, I've now been... Uh, Calling CQ for 20 minutes on FD8. Uh, going out with, I guess, a little bit less than a um, little bit less than uh, five watts. Uh, another total of six, perhaps seven contacts now in uh, 20 plus minutes. So I guess after this QSO, uh, I'm moving on to FD4 and see if that's any better. I uh, gotta find the right mode for a little bit less power than usual. Okay, 20 minutes of FT8 netted me six QSOs in the log. 20 minutes of FT4 netted me 17 QSOs in the log. So apparently FT4 is a more efficient mode for QRP portable Digimode operations. But the pileup is going and going and going. So I'm going to keep calling for a little while and uh, we'll meet up after that and see how many I actually logged. So QRP Digimodes on a poda in really bad weather. Could it be done? 
yeah, I guess you figured that out. Yeah, it absolutely can be done. I managed 31 in the log in exactly an hour, and I think it's time to pack down because it's been snowing really hard, and um, there are no trucks blowing this parking lot where I am. So in order to get home and get out of this parking lot, it's time to, to pack up and get home. But absolutely. Um, is it as fun as doing sideband and on 100 watts? No. Not by far. <laughs> is it faster than sideband and 100 watts? No. Is it faster than QRP? Sideband? Don't think so either. But it's a different way of communicating and it's about knowing your equipment, testing your equipment in real world situations. Should, should a situation arise where you need to use your equipment, you better be prepared to know how to use it. And as I said in the introduction, FD8 is not an emergency communications mode not by far not by any chance but it gives you a way to test propagation and test if your equipment works and i would say that my equipment got a passing grade today again 31 in the log in exactly one hour six of them on ft8 and the rest on ft4 so i have to say that ft4 is the winner here for uh, low power communications and that might be just because there are a lot less stations on ft4 so the signal to noise ratio is actually better on ft4 so it's time for me to pack down but i've enjoyed this little exercise in um, doing parks on the air in really bad weather I'm not going to call it an emergency communications exercise because that's not what it is. It's just my thoughts on being able to use your equipment for emergency communications. Anyway, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, leave a comment down there. And there are also some virtual tip jars down in the uh, description. And also thanks to my YouTube members, my patrons, everyone who's bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. It's really appreciated and it helps run the channel. So, until next time, 7-3.